All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, if all goes well, this will be one of the, actually it should be the final parts installation on our custom Lamborghini inspired Ducati Panigale. If you wanna be entered to win this bike, patreon.com slash Customs is always the first link in the description below. Let's get this video started. So if you're wondering during the video what the commotion is in the background, Teens is painting, you almost ran into auto. Teens is gonna be painting, um, what is this, like the shelf the plank, over our, the, the plank yeah. that goes above our little, our little area in the garage that has the hose. The hose. There's like an opening, we put this on top. We can still have access, but it covers. So we have hose nicer. outside and inside. Uh, oh, wow. See what, wow. I did? see what I did there? Uh, wow. Because she does OnlyFans. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I don't know which ones are smaller, but on my hand, like on my Sausage. gloves. Yeah. Look at this. That's, Those are the small ones. Good, that's scary. not going to work. This is huge. Uh, yeah, I get that a lot. Don't, I can barely get this. Dado and I get that a lot. Uh, no, I can tell. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually not going to say anything. Yeah, okay. Wow. All right, so black on this bad boy. And then uh, we've got one more cubby to put together in the garage. Did you hear that wee? Did you hear the wee in there? Well, I'm going to help you with this one. I was helping him with the trim. Mm. Oh my gosh. And then that video will be up live on the channel. Probably right after this one. Um, so today what we're going to be working on is finishing the control setup. I did confirm with Manny that these uh, Brembo Masters are supposed to be used with the buttons. We do have buttons for that side. For this side we do not have buttons, but you can still use them. You just have to set it up a little bit differently and I think Dotto's going to be fine to do that. So we're just going to be back to work on the controls. If you missed the last video, we did get the GP edition Duca Bike blacked out triple tree installed. It looks incredible. And today we're going to be working on the final parts, which is all the control stuff. And then there'll probably be one Patreon only video where we finish the controls and then do the uh, bleeding and then the bike's going to be ready to be ridden. So the next video you'll see after this one, as long as all goes well, should be us test riding this bike if you can freaking believe it. So yeah, I'm not super excited about that because like I said, we've got probably about $100,000 into this project. It is very, it's the most expensive bike we've ever done. And I would say my favorite bike we've ever done. So it's going to be very nerve wracking to ride it. We're going to have to test ride it, make sure everything's good. Then we're going to be taking it to the dyno, finding out the final horsepower numbers. And then we'll just have the final walk around. I'm going to go over all the whole the parts list for you guys and the cost of the build and everything like that. And then we'll be uh, taking it to Warhorse and choosing a winner, weather pin permitting. So we're going to look, this is that's so crazy that this is all we have left. This box right here this is it. This is it, boys. So, I guess we'll uh, hand it over to Dotto and get to work. It'll be stuck. Yeah. Oh, it's super sticky. Mm -hmm. We just noticed it's made in Italy, but it's got 717 right there. Yeah, it has our area code on it. That's hilarious. That's wild. I wonder what that's for. You were going to try to push this thing on? I'm going to try. It's not going to work. It's kind of going on. If you force air with your hand. Through your hand. Oh, it's it's impossible. Yeah. Try that. I'm not even going to bother. <sighs> Somebody was bitching about me taking the grip. You don't even know how to tell. I'm like, I can tell you what you can do, buddy. <laughs> Let's check in with the teener wieners. If you need stuff painted, let her know. She'll come paint anything you need. Looking pretty good. She's only 500 bucks an hour. Mm-hmm. She'll paint in her undies for you. What? I said 500 bucks an hour. You, you'll paint anything in your undies. 500 an hour? It's probably more than that. I'll do it. <laughs> Her undies are gonna be over a pair of jeans, but that's just fine for it. I'll do body paint. Oh my okay. God. <laughs> Looking pretty good. You getting high off the smell? No, but I am so cold. Are you? Because look how cold it, it's cold, cold outside. Yeah, it is a little chilly. And it's been raining for four straight days. Yeah, it's been really fun. A little taste of water. Really fun happening. times. Yeah, really fun times. Uh, he's gonna use his oh. air compressor and he's gonna blow this bitch on. <laughs> blow it off the opposite of what normally happens right what blow it on instead of blowing it off oh my god it's making crazy ass sound <laughs> I, can't. I can't get him get him all right got the grip on i actually love it it's not black it's like a gray it looks really good and then uh, we set this whole thing up with the reservoir. So because of how this works, we have, well, first we got our saw, saw bus bleeder on there. 
And then this is how the little bracket works. You just basically bend the bracket. Um, it comes straight, and then look at that. It just sits right there. I mean, it'll yeah. be in a little bit yeah, further, yeah. but. How freaking dope is that? So I guess next thing is what? Do you want to put the tubing on off the bike and then put it on, or do you want to put it on first? I think I'll put it on afterwards because I want to cut it exact length. Okay. And if we need to move so it So put all. this on first, then yeah. back to where we want yep, it to go. Yep, yep. Okay. All right, we're getting everything tightened down. You got the reservoir in a spot that looks really good up there. Now he's uh, attaching the banjo bolt. And then next thing we're gonna do is cut some Tigon tubing. Look how nice that looks. It's neat, down, out of the way, completely flat. Did a great job. This, there's an art form to this, to get these things to look good, sit in the right spots, be functional. Can't even get the thread in. Oh, of course. <laughs> this side is done. So we got the Corsa Quarter Master, Clutch Master installed. We got the reservoir on there, looking beautiful. And then you just put the tubing, we got the stall bus bleeder as well. And then that's how it looks. And everything clears. I just had to put it down below the high beam and everything's good to go. So there's that side with a new grip and everything. Looks incredible. And now we're gonna move on to this side. And the nice thing about this is both of these are going away. So it's gonna be a lot cleaner over here. We're, uh, we don't have to take the grip off because it's coming off with the whole throttle housing. We can take the Brembo uh, stock poopy set up off and move on to the uh, the new one. All right, so we're disassembling the throttle side now. Yeah, so it's drive by wire and this piece comes out if I can get it. There's a wire, there's no wire in there. It's called drive by wire. Oh. Meaning like electronic yeah, yeah. instead of cable. So this should pop out. Might have to take the other. Oh, uh, the other screw out? Yeah, the other Set cover. Screw? Okay. Oh yeah, because it has the cover yeah. plate thingy. So, look at these. I don't know if this will come off on camera, but it's like a triangular, let's see. There it is. It's like a triangular, um, what is that, screw? Look uh, at this. Yeah. God, why is this? There we go. Look at all these crazy bits he has in here. So are these all specialty ones, Dotto? Um, it's like a whole case worth of them. They have, they're like tamper proof. That's pretty cool. That box. How long do you think you've had this box? A long time. <laughs> really? Yeah, I used to work on cars back when I was like really young. I used to install like 12 volt, you know, remote starters, DVD players. Back when all that. I love that. It was cool like when Alpine. like when they yeah, but when they used Sound to put, when they used to like have like TVs in a headrest yeah. and like when all that that craze was happening. Before we all had smartphones. I used to install stereo systems in cars before I could even drive. Yeah, it's so awesome. Those were the days, man. Mm -hmm. Take me back. All right, so once we get those out, there's one on the top, one on the bottom. Is that where right. I was looking? Yeah, I showed it to him. Yeah. All right, so we realized in order to get the uh, new throttle housing and buttons and everything on. We have to t unplug this and it runs all the way inside. So we have to take this off yet again. This and probably this too. And hopefully that's it. In my defense. You I wanted to leave it? No, I didn't oh. know we were doing the buttons and everything else. Yeah. I thought we were just doing the reservoirs and master and calling it a day. Yeah, it's my bad. It's I knew, I didn't know that the stuff ran under here. So we gotta take it all apart again. We'll just cut all the wires. Fun times. Okay, so after taking everything back apart, Dado was able to locate the uh, wire and unplug it from the... It was all the way down yeah. in there. Unfortunately, we had to take the whole panel, yeah. not off, but, but enough that we yeah. can, and I have it, I have a brace so I can get my fat fingers in there. The cleanest towel I've ever seen. Hey, just knock it off. All right, now what? Um, so we got this harness to here and to here. I don't... Yeah, I can probably slide it because the wire will make it right here. Mm -hmm. The reason why we're doing all this is because the drive-by wire, the whole unit, we have to take this inside part away from here, and then we use the plate and everything to put it back to the other unit. The only way to do that is to get the harness plug all the way out and then put it fish all it back. all the way back in. Yep. So if you guys ever do this, and the manual says, there's another little strap underneath here. If the manual ever says you gotta take the entire bike apart, you really don't have to, but you know how I am with figuring ways around. I would still do it. What, take the whole bike apart? Yeah. I mean, if you're doing it by yourself, I would, but yeah. you're looking at piles of hours of yeah. work. Remember when Ducati was like 12 and a half hours for certified Ducati tech to put the exhaust on? Huh. Like all my whiskey. Yeah. Uh, there's one more little rubber. I can't get to it right now. 
So in case you didn't know what the hell Dada was talking about, this was the reason why, right here. Because that has to come off, it's getting replaced. The only reason to get, the only way to get that off is to do that. And the, the drive-by wire, how it works, like on a typical throttle setup, you have a cable that draws a throttle plate and drive-by wire essentially is a large potentiometer. And what that does is whenever- I was just gonna say that. Yeah, so whenever you hit the throttle, right, on here, this has plates inside that move and tell all of these wires a, a signal, essentially a voltage signal. How much fuel? No. How far to turn the throttle plates. On oh. the throttle side, you have a motor, kind of like the servo motor and exhaust. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So when you turn this, it electronically sends a signal that turns that motor. Okay. So there's no mechanical parts between this and the motor. Gotcha. It's all electronic. And that's how they're able to do all the riding modes and all the throttle responses and stuff exactly. like that. And, exactly. That's wild. And the crazy thing is, like old school ways, like if you have to reset the throttle back to 0% or Put whatever. I'm curious. How tight it is? Yeah. Uh, How's that go on there? Like this. Yeah. No play. That's, that's what we want. No okay. Play. Somebody 3D printed this for your pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, drive-by wire, that's pretty much how that that's works. That's cool. So we have to fit this housing over, over top. The, the factory. Because I can only imagine what this costs. Then where are all these, where's this plug into? Um, this stuff here is the buttons for the that we took off the other Oh, oh thing. okay, gotcha. So this goes through here, mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. We have to pull that metal off, by the way. Yeah. This goes through here. Yeah. Now you have to watch how these wires sit in here. That's the only thing. There's like a little channel that you put mm -hmm. in for it. This should sit in here, like so. Because we have it set up to the right way. Yeah. Boom. That That's sits cool. there. The plate sits over that. Yep. We reassemble the whole thing. Well, I'd have to take it out and squeeze it in. Get the wires. The wires. Through. Yep. So that'll sit there like that. But you got to put the throttle on first. Pretty much sits here. It's like a Chinese like this. puzzle. An Italian puzzle. Yeah, Italian puzzle. This has to sit in here, and then this piece has to slide all the way over everything. And don't pinch anything, don't, don't screw anything up. You can't pinch these wires, otherwise, mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. or you're not gonna have a drive-by wire. It's gonna be drive-by foot. <laughs> More like drive-by the bushes. Yeah, you know? drive-by the bushes. Into the ditch. So, drive-by ditch. Okay. Let's get these wires around here nice and neat. That way we don't pinch anything. There you go. Get everything reassembled okay. and on the bike. Next step is unplugging the brake wire, right? Which we just did there. Mm -hmm. We're yeah, losing it. Yeah, I have to cut these wires and uh, splice in the new switch. It's yep. a universal switch. But I'm gonna keep this factory harness, harness plug and then just cut the wires back here a little yeah. bit and then hide everything and you know, make it look nice. I like it. If you ever want to put it back together, then this is already plugged in there and good to go. I don't think there's a polarity on Anybody these. Anybody touches, touches the spike. Good luck. Yeah, have fun. That's all I gotta say. All right, this is the current situation right now. We still gotta remove this. Right now we're building the other side right now, the uh, brake master, um, which is just repeating the process of the other side. So there's really not a, ton, a whole ton to show. We do have the throttle built, sorry, Dodskis. Right here, this is all ready to go. It'll sit like this. I don't know why it's not focusing. There it is, look at that. Super cool, that's ready to rock. So, the last thing we need to do is get this yeah, thing off. We gotta get that yeah, off. Yeah, and then we can set this but anyways, on. anyways, he just wanted to get it. It would help if I had this right. <laughs> it's getting late. And uh -huh. I'm getting hangry. See, because yeah, so that's gonna be gone. Sit like that, yeah, something like the like other that. side. Yeah, it's and then we'll get really the throttle good. assembly on. All right, so I ended up giving Manny a call. We were chasing this uh, wire harness from the um, kill switch. Oh, God. Sounded like something broke, but it didn't. And here, all you do is just unplug it from the actual kill switch itself. So thank God we called him. Um, so that's off. Everything's ready to go. He's pulling out the uh, pin. Bitch pin. Bitch pin. Is there a bitch to get out? And then I have, if you made it this far in the video, we're gonna do something special for you guys, okay? That bucket right there. If you can tell us, the first person to successfully tell us what that is in that bucket, you get to pick any stock part that Dado has and we'll ship it to you for free. Or I'll like, we'll sign stuff and, yeah. I'll, and, I'll, and I'll mail it to you. Yeah, so. But you get one chance one to chance. guess. 
So we're not. It's a five five gallon bucket and it's totally full. Yep. So, so guess in the comment section below. I don't think a single person's gonna get it. And if they win, then we either I, I'll send them any stock part they want, which some of the stuff is expensive. Yeah. Or we'll hand sign everything and hand sign something for them. Yeah, yeah. Christina and everything. We'll do else. something for you. Yeah. We'll, so we'll send you something cool. Make your guesses in the comment section below. And we're gonna keep working. Okay, so now that we got the new and improved throttle housing on here, that's upside down, Dotto. No, it's not. You <laughs> dickhead. I always got you. Um, plugging everything in. So we got the first thing plugged in. They give you a mile of extra cording. We're gonna stuff that somewhere. It's gonna sit underneath that cover, yeah, like that, perfect. kind of. Yep. Zip tie and we'll there. zip tie it and everything. And there's this mm -hmm. for the drive by wire. And that's gotta go. Remember all the way back down all in there? All the way down underneath here. Uh huh. Jeez. So, Jeez yeah. Louise. I'll plug that in while you're filming. Okay. I like the sound. ASMR. <gasps> Is it it's the wrong one. No, Just kidding. It goes this way. Ready? Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? Clickety clack. All right. He's going to tuck that wire in there. And then we can move on to the. Actually, the only other thing that goes on brake. this bar, yeah, which is the brake, which is really cool, brake switch. Yeah, and I have to I have to splice that in. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. So cool. We might save that for the next episode, whenever we're doing the uh, bleeding and all that. We'll splice it. Bleed I'm it. bleeding right now from my eyeballs, trying to figure this out. <laughs> Stop. All right, so we got everything up on the bar there. There's a little bird's eye view. We still got to put the uh, grip on, but we got the stall bless quick bleeder on there. Uh, obviously the RCS Master. We've got the new uh, throttle, the new throttle housing with all the buttons. And it looks freaking awesome, look at that. So everything just got squished into one little thing, which is really nice. We kept, instead of doing the buttons over here, we kept the regular thing because I just think it's a lot more intuitive to use. You could go with buttons if you wanted to as well, but you can see how badass that looks. We still gotta get the um, Rizoma over here in the right right spot, but that's sitting pretty close, I think. Look at that. And you don't even really notice them, which is really nice. And they sit further back. There's a lot more room so you can see straight down to your, um, your dashboard, which is really nice. All right, got the throttle um, grip on. It feels phenomenal, way better than stock. I love how everything's sitting, the angles, all of it. It's really good if you didn't know how to get the angles on your bike when you're sitting on your bike in riding position. It's supposed to be a straight line from your arm right down to your hand and right down to where you would grab the, uh, what are they called? Lever. So that's how you do it. All we gotta do is put that on and that's where we're gonna end for today. So we got everything on the bike and then next episode, which I think is gonna be Patreon only because I think that these videos don't really do that well. The technical stuff, for some reason, people just don't wanna watch. Um, so I think I'll just do that for Patreon only and then the next one you guys will see here on YouTube will be the test ride on this bike and seeing if it uh, blows up or not whenever we ride it for the first That's time. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I am going to let Dada ride it first. <laughs> But that's it, guys. That's it for this episode. Again, huge shout out to Moto Million. If you guys need parts for your motorcycles, make sure you give them a check. They're always linked in the description below. You can use my code, Campeasy. Save yourself some money. Um, if you want to be entered to win this bike, patreon.com slash Customs. It's always the first link in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big old juicy thumbs up. I know it doesn't look like it's almost done, but it is actually almost done. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old juicy thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.